you guys had so much discernment that I was I was in the A plus cat. I was in the good side of the category until somebody got upset because they thought that I was wrong about or that I changed on John MacArthur. I literally put the video out the other day and showed that I said this two days after I said the other statement. I said John MacArthur off of your head. Two days later, I said, you know what? I retract that. You know why I retract that? Because I should not give a final judgment when I don't have all the matters. Well, but Corey, have you seen what all the information has come out since then? Yeah, but it's still one side. Are there other sides to it? Yes. Will I ever hear the other side? Maybe not. Probably not. So guess what? I'm not going to make a judgment. I'm still, the scriptures tells me, if I answer a matter without hearing, I haven't heard it all. So I'm not going to judge. You want to judge? Fine. Me, I'm pulling back. And I said the second day. And so for the last year and a half, I've said I'm not calling for his head unless I get some more information on his side. Then I'm not going any further than where I've gone. I've said they were wrong on, on how they treated um, um, Eileen Gray. That's that. What else you want me to do? Now, what I've said to the people in prison who had a problem with the sex offenders who want me to be angry and upset with them, my point to them was, you kill them. You go beat them up. You want me to, I'm not going to do your dirty work for them. So you got a problem with John MacArthur, drive to California and do something about it. Or drive to your local city and other churches that, that, that other problems going on. You, you don't care about the other things. You care about this one. Now, there's not more than one side. Okay, you fine. Fine, fine. If you find out that it is, the problem is this, though. You don't know. So you guys can judge it. Fine. Listen, if you think that you've got all the information that you need for it, then fine. I've never called anybody. I've never said, hey, you're a bad person for, for making this judgment about John MacArthur. I've never said, if you feel that way, fine. You feel that way. Okay. You just better be right. God's not going to judge me because I don't I don't make the same assessment. You guys got to grow up. And I'm and I, and, I, and and if you get offended with what I'm saying, then amen, fine. You guys have to grow up. Because if I make an accusation about you and I've got, got documents on top of documents on top of documents and you don't ever say anything, does that mean I got the whole side? Because you, well, I read some official documents. But you cannot, you can't, you can't win an argument with everybody, especially the person that want to hear it. That's fine. That's fine. You guys go listen to those 30, 40 more videos to come. Have at it. Do, do your best uh, to enjoy it. But whatever you say about me or anyone else, you, my friend, better be right. Whatever judgments you make about me, you better be right. Maybe I'm the worst thing ever. Maybe I am. You could email me and find out. You could you could email me and find out. You have no desire. You want to come on the platform. Now, I can I can turn the whole thing and just, just castigate you right here. I can call you all. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because I, I, I'm i going to assume that you're a brother or I'm not sure if you're a brother or sister, um, but I'm, I'm going to assume that you're brethren. And so because of that, I'm not going to treat you the way that you think I ought to be treated. Let me just say this to help you out. I was a liar, a thief. I can't even say I had an affair. I got a fine liar, a thief, adulterer. I was a whole lot of things. Thankfully, I'm not those things. One of the things that I was back then Thank God I'm not, because I wouldn't have a problem getting on you physically, but I'm not. What I used to be, I'm not anymore. God has changed me. God has worked in me. God has moved in my life in ways you could not believe. I thank God. I know who I cried out to. I know what was going on with me. You don't have to accept it. That's fine. It's not for you to. All I can say is this. For all of you people that 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 want to say something about someone else's sin, fine, fine. The way you are judging is exactly the way God is going to judge you. There is no if, ands, buts, or about it. And it's not just this this issue with me. This happens all throughout Christian YouTube, Christian YouTube, Christian Facebook, Christian Twitter, Christian Streets, Christian Period, where you want to sit and just lambast somebody because they sin. Let me just say this, and I'm going to go ahead and move on because I got somewhere to be in two minutes. But let me just say this, and this is for you guys. This is a warning. This is a warning for every last one of you guys who think you know the situation and you don't. Let me just be clear. Let me be crystal clear. You might find out that you're not saved. You might find out that you don't have a heart for God. Why? Because one, you have no forgiveness. Two, you will sit and enjoy gossip for hours on end, but you will not sit and put your butt down and do do some real Bible study. You will go and find and spend time. Hey, let me just dig in this person's past. Okay, that's a troublesome meddler. 
That's literally right beside in Peter, I mean, uh, uh, in Timothy, when he's talking about a thief, a murderer. Yeah, a troublesome meddler is in that same category. But let me just say this. It might not be, as a matter of fact, I know it's not that you are not sinless. What it might be is that you are probably, in many cases, a better sinner than I am and a lot of these other people. You know why I say that? The reason why I would say that you're probably a better sinner than everybody else, because you're good at not getting caught. What you have done is you've categorized big public sin versus your small private sin that had not come out. And you think my big public sin, I can promise you, doesn't outnumber your small hidden private sin. I can promise you that. I can promise you that. Let's say your sin of lying, your sin of jealousy, your sin of wrath, your sin of anger. You pick the sin. You got some sin. How long, how many times that sin's popped up? How many times have you lusted in the last week? Folks, thing, how many times have you had an evil thought? How many times have you coveted something? How many times have you had unjust anger with someone? How many times? I can promise you it's more times than I've stole anything. I can promise you it's more times than I've committed adultery. I can promise you that. Which one does, how does God regard? Does God regard your sin uh, not as severe as mine? Does he regard your sin greater than mine or the same? Well, go ask him. And so when you ask him, he's going to let you know by his word that it's still rotten. It's still rotten. You don't go to prison for your sin, but you can go to hell for it. So let me just say this. Just because you're good at sinning and hiding it does not mean you're also probably good at pointing out sin, somebody else's sin. That's fine. That's fine. Let me let me hit you with the truth and you need to get this. I don't care if it's somebody else's video. Who cares? But this is something good for your spirit. It's going to bless you. Are you ready? If you are sitting there indulging in these sins while pointing the finger at someone else's sin because they haven't repented the way you wanted them to repent, fine. I can promise you, again, God is going to judge you the same way. And here is, and I want you to get this, here, my friend, is the warning. Don't think that because you haven't gotten a severe punishment yet that you aren't going to get it. The Bible literally tells us that he is storing up wrath. Yes, some of you guys are going to get a spanking like you've never seen because he's just been holding off. All this you counting someone else's sin or them not doing it, that's fine. Keep, keep it up. Keep it up. But then when he deals with you, you don't, you can't make a, when he comes at you, you can't make a video about that. You're not going to be able to make a video, leave something in the comment section when God comes at you. And I pray that you can stand before him in a clear conscience. Right now at present, I can't. Whether it's Seiko or anyone else believes me or not, whether you believe me, whether Michael Brown believes me, whether Charlie Brown believes me, whether Frank believes me, whether whoever believes me, it doesn't matter. I know. I can stand with, a, with before him with a clean conscience. Am I, am I raggedy? Still am. Still mess up. But I can promise you this. He knows I love him. And I'm not coming at anybody. I, Corey, you, you call out everybody else's. Uh, I, I call, I'll call out doctrine. You don't have videos of me sitting there calling somebody else's um, marital affairs or their past. No, I'm talking about doctrine. It's different. That's one sided. That's in that's in the Bible. We can look at the Bible and see what that is. I don't care about your uh, your mini marriages. I don't care about your bankruptcies. I don't care about the fact that you got you've been fired over and over again. I, I don't care about the fact that you have absolutely no friends. No one likes you. I, I don't care about the fact that you're a lustful person. I don't care about I care about the fact that you do. Listen, see. John Gray, I said to John Gray, I said, John Gray, you don't seem repentant. And I said, I know what it's like to not be repentant. I know what it's like to look for excuses because I made those excuses. And I said, right now, you're not qualified. I also said that at some point in time, you could be, but this is what has to happen. You could be restored. Go watch the video. Go watch what I said about him, what I said about other folks. But it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Make sure that you judge rightly. Because when when God judges, it's going to be public, by the way, with you and everybody else that's on their way to hell. But for those that want to give grace and show grace, realize, as Jesus said to the woman, though she has committed many sins, 
she loves much because she recognized she's been forgiven much. You guys don't think that you've been forgiven much. I thank God I'm not like Corey Miner. I don't commit the same sins that Corey Miner's committed. All right. All right. I'd love to see how you guys are witnessing these people out there on the streets. That's the issue. I'd love to see how, how this is translating with other people. So go back over there, watch the video, do what you would. Man, listen, I praise God that you have an outlet to vent. I thank God that you got that. I, just, I hope it works for you. But as for us over here and many other channels like this and many other ministries, I thank God that we can be honest of who and how following we are. Because notice this. So far, every day this week, somebody from my past has been in the live stream chats. Somebody from my church. Two people, as a matter of fact, from, my, from the church that I was in. Two, maybe three. The past who I sold, uh, uh, basically turned on. Daughter's watching. Former friends or friends from the past, prison um, uh, friends, friends from prison, family members, they keep showing up. They see they see me. So, and I thank God for that. But more importantly, I thank God for God. Thank for what he's done. So, guys, uh, I think this was necessary. Uh, don't get to the point to where, one, you've never made it. You still got some baggage. You still got some issues. You still have some, you still have some things in your life that God is still working on you in. You still have some things that God is trying to get out. And because we're submitted to him, eventually they'll go out, they'll leave. In the meantime though, guys, you all be blessed. I will see you on tomorrow. Amen.